Hi friends, what's up? I just wanted to share something with you really quick. This is a, an awesome little trick um, if you have an injury and you need to take care of it at home. Like, who wants to go to the doctors these days? Honestly, they're going to force shit on you that you don't want or need. I don't need that. Um, so a couple of days ago I was out running and because I run barefoot, I took the, the end off my toe. Like I, I skinned. There was an undulation that I didn't perceive. I hit it with my toe, my big toe, and I tore the skin off. And it's, it wasn't too bad. I managed to run back to the, the car okay. It, it was fine, you know. I, I cleaned it when I got home and perfect. So it's healing. I'm out running today. And because we've had so much rain here lately, I'm running along a trail and I came through some water that was really shady, really questionable water. So it's just sitting there. So it's standing water and it was like slimy and it was hot and I'm thinking this is a breeding ground for all kinds of shit so I ran through it and I'm thinking this is getting onto you know a, a fresh wound so what am I going to do about that well turmeric powder straight up olive oil straight up now I'm going to pour a little bit of the olive oil into the turmeric powder not much just a little and I'm going to blend it to make a paste Probably a tiny little bit more olive oil. You get the idea. You want it to be a paste. Now, why am I using turmeric and olive oil? A couple of reasons. Let's start with turmeric. Turmeric is very, very powerful. I mean, if you've been following me, you know I'm a huge fan of turmeric. I love it. It's super powerful, antimicrobial. But it's better than that. Antibacterial, it's antiviral, it's antifungal, it's anti-inflammatory. Sounds good for a wound healing. It modulates what your immune system does. So you know the inflammation you get in a wound? That inflammation is actually your immune system responding to the site. So basically, like, right, I've got this injury on my toe. I run through this really questionable or shady water. It wouldn't have mattered if I had shoes on or not. If I had an injury or a cut on my foot, shoes aren't waterproof. That water is going to get into the cut. So there's a chance that bacteria has gotten into, you know, my body via a wound. Now, I could do what so many people tend to do and race to the doctor and be like, oh, you know, this and this and this. I could do nothing and I could wait. Maybe nothing's going to happen. I like to be a little bit preemptive. I don't know about you. So here's what I've done. I've created this paste. Now, that bacteria has gotten into my foot. My body is going to create a wall from the inside of white cells. It's going to throw white cells at it. Now, that's going to create an inflammatory response. That's my body's natural defense, right? So that, that, I want that to happen. But your body tends to overreact. So it's going to go way too much. The foot's going to swell up. And I'm not saying this is going to happen. It probably won't. But if infection gets in, this is generally how it unfolds. You get the infection in, your body reacts, white cells start attacking the pathogen, the invader, and it's like the phagocytes, right? So they, they encompass themselves around, they devour it, the, the invader, and then they kill it and that kills them. And so that's why you get pus, that's dead white cells that have done their job, right? So if it gets pussy, that's why. Now. You can help that whole process along by making this paste and packing it into the wound. So your body's walled it off from the inside. It's throwing white cells at it. This is just helping it from the outside. This shit will absorb. It absorbs into the wound. It absorbs into the area where you want it to absorb. I have yet to see a wound that this doesn't work on, that this doesn't heal. A friend of mine, an old school friend in Australia, he was bitten by a white-tailed spider. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the Australian white-tail spiders, but they're, they, they're necrotic. So when they bite you, it gets really itchy. You don't know what it is that's bitten you. You scratch it, you start spreading it, and before you know it, you start getting like a, a pocket. Your flesh starts getting eaten away. It's actually pretty gnarly. So he had this full reaction. He made up a paste just like this, turmeric, olive oil, and packed it into the wound. And, you know, within a week... The wound was completely healed. All the necrotic tissue, it, it had stopped spreading. 
it had stopped eating away at his flesh, and he had a complete recovery in a week because of this remedy. So keep that in mind. And if you don't have turmeric and olive oil in your house, get some. I mean, it's tasty as shit in the cooking anyway. What you cook with it, it's awesome. It's good for you, but it also makes a really handy first aid for wound, and it stops you from having to go to the doctor. It's preemptive. So keep that in mind.